Hi right, Sam, great to catch up with you again on Tuesday and do a little bit more work on your game. Obviously what we were talking about was controlling the rate of closure of the club face and the sequencing of your downswing. So we're trying to improve this move here where we can see the left foot spinning out the way and the forearms rotating over a little bit too much. Always tend to look a little bit trapped at this point as though you're trying to throw the club at the ball and you can see the quick release of those wrists as you're coming into it trying to snap the club square as opposed to what we see here with Grant White down on the bottom right we see a much quieter move through the hitting area slightly more out in front of it with his lower body slightly less trapped and certainly better extension less forearm rotation through impact what we talked about was the sequencing of your moves from the top. If we take a little look at you from down the line, one of the things we notice is that as you start down, you don't return to the forward flexion that you had at address in the first move in your downswing. So if we take a little look at your forward flexion and address there, and we just put a line down your spine, as you start down, we tend to increase our spine angle a little bit you can see there the back straightening a little bit hunched forward in the shoulders but we've not returned to that initial setup posture that we have and the reason for that is that you're firing your lever mechanisms a little bit too early we talked about what's involved during the downswing and what should be happening so if we take a little look again at grant white from face on and we take him to the top the first thing Grant's going to do here is going to return into forward flexion. He's going to get back on top of that golf ball with his chest. Now at this point, the levers that he's created haven't been released. What's now going to happen is the left arm is going to start to move away from the right shoulder. The right arm is going to start to gradually straighten. Then the wrists are going to unhinge and then the forearms are going to rotate and that's the sequence of moves that you need to have during your downswing return to forward flexion so get on top of the golf ball with your chest that's going to improve your ability to get out in front of it with your lower body then the left arm starts to move away from the shoulder right arm starts to expand wrist starts to unhinge forearms rotate if you can do that in the correct sequence everything is regulated what we see here from the top left again if we take it to the top first move down is the arm moving away from the chest getting rid of the right angle too early or the arm angle too early you can see though you're really trying to get rid of those wrist angles as you come through so as a result as we approach impact and we get in the delivery position here we can see that the angle between the left arm and the wrist has started to diminish and it's happening too early as a result you've got to manipulate that club too much on the way through so the club head is starting to swing at the golf ball a little bit too much at that point if we take a little look at you here this is towards the end of your session you've been working on trying to get on top of it more with your chest as a result as you approach that delivery position you've got much more lag between the shaft of the club and the left arm the right arm's not started to expand quite as much we're a little bit more out in front of it with the left knee and as a result we've got a slightly better extension and not quite as much forearm rotation as we come through so here we've got the club working down the line more whereas here We've got a severe wrap over in the right arm and you can see the rate of close is increased, shaft going left. So all in all a much better swing, it's the firing of the levers that you're trying to get. Return to forward flexion, get the left arm moving away from the right shoulder as the right arm gradually straightens. Wrists unhinge, forearms rotate, but the move into forward flexion is key. The first move from the top, you need to feel like you're going to get on top of the golf ball with your chest and then fire everything from there good luck with it great session and see you again in a few weeks time